goodness morning it is saturday morning and um i'm off to manchester today um and i've done my usual so going to this big charity ball uh, denise well she's just been doing it every year for the last 19 years and um <laughs> i was in this women yesterday and you could hear all the women chatting about what they're going to... Oh, I've just got a lovely tuxedo dress, says Jane. Oh, I've got a lovely tuxedo, says Andrea. Oh, and Syra, oh, I've got this gorgeous long dress that I bought and these shoes that I bought from my sister. And I was sitting there thinking, I haven't thought about it for one second, what I'm going to wear. So, it's now seven o'clock in the morning. Everything is dragged out of my cupboard. Thank God Mark wasn't here, because he would have really pissed me off. <laughs> and... Nothing, nothing looks or feels right. Or if it does, I've got no shoes to match it. I don't have a single evening bag. I don't know where they've all gone. So I'm already sweating with stress. I might wear the dress that I've worn to every single thing for about the last 10 years, or I've got another dress that I've worn to every single thing for the last 21 years. So Mark, maybe you should insert how many pictures I've been taking pictures have been taken with me in these two dresses because it's what I always end up with and the the long one this one um I bought that year 21 years ago I was in EastEnders paid a fair amount of money for it it was a, it was a lot of money it was a couple hundred quid but I've worn it it, it probably ended up cost well I've probably worn it 200 times pound a time that's not bad is it um, and my other dress was a dress, I think, that cost about, it cost 40 quid in the sale. And I think I've worn it to practically every red, every red carpet. Because it doesn't matter how fat or thin I am, I look okay in it. Except be one of those two. And the thing is, I didn't even know it was a themed party. And the theme is magic. And what's so annoying is, I've got this dress that I wear, where is this dress? I've got this dress. Um, hang on, I'll put you on the sticks and then I can show you, one sec. Right, okay, so I've got this dress that Loose Women bought me for something that I needed it for. Where was it from? Oh, it's only like the Debenhams collection. It wasn't like super expensive, but look at that. Could you get a more perfect dress? Look for a ball named Magic, and I haven't got any bloody shoes that I can wear with it. So annoying, so annoying. Well, I've got these shoes, hang on. Wait for these Cinderella shoes that the stylist, my other shoppers, um, and this woman yesterday, said I could take to borrow. How perfect would they be with that dress? Wait, wait for it. How gorgeous are they? Okay, they're a bit squat the heel, but they are the absolute, absolute perfect height. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I could probably borrow a gold bag off Syra or Andrew or Jane, but agony, sheer agony. So do I wear this with this and be in sheer agony, but I've covered the theme, or do I wear the dress that I've worn 25 times before and everyone knows? I've also got this, which is again, totally themed. Look, look at that. I mean, could you get a more perfectly themed? Look. It's a jumpsuit with gold. I mean, it's magic. Look, it's pure magic. But, hang on a minute. These are the only shoes that I don't trip over the trousers of, because they're very long. These are the only shoes I can wear. And look, if I fall off them, what happens? I break my ankle. Do I just bear the pain? Do I put some compede plasters on? Or do I risk breaking my ankle? Oh no, here he comes. What's wrong? Yesterday when I was at Loose Women, the girls were talking about what they were going to wear and I realised I hadn't even thought about it. 
So I've got a big problem, right? The theme is magic. I was just showing the subs. Look at that. Could you get a more magic themed outfit? Right? Ma magic? Are they going to be magicians? Yeah. You love magicians. I love magicians. But look, these are the shoes. The only shoes that I don't trip over those legs. Right. Okay, hold that thought in your head. But there's high risk I could break my ankle. Right. Okay, put that one down. I've got this. Could you find a more magic, magic dress? Hold that up. The subs know this already. And look at these. Magic. D um, Bertie lent them to me yesterday. Look. Very see-through. No, no, there's a thing that goes underneath it. <laughs> it's a long black thing. That... But these are sheer agony. Yeah. That depends make on me want to cry. you're going to get. But makes me want to cry. These. <laughs> they're, they're so painful. Oh, well, you can't do that then. That's such a man. That's Did you hear that? He just instantly went, well, you can't wear them then. What do you not realise that most... Do company. you not realise that most women, when they're out of dues, are near to tears with the pain in their feet? Well, you're all ridiculous. I mean, I'm not... I can I mean, give look it at the difference between men are from Mars, women are from... He just went, oh, we can't wear those. What's that got to do with it? We're not interested in you wearing high heels. Darling, you don't understand. If I don't wear a heel, I'm going to trip over these things because they're too long. Well, then don't wear those. Where's yeah, but it's else? magic. Anything shiny is or, magic. Or, I wear this. I've worn on every red carpet. I said to the subs, you could put in a picture of me. Every red carpet, I've worn the exact same outfit. The black dress, to the knee, with the Vivian Westwood shoes that you bought me with the lips on. You have done that a few times. Every single time I've gone out. It's a problem. Oh, God, what am I going to do? Don't know. Didn't realise this was such a crisis. Right, look. Right, do I risk breaking my ankle or am I in sheer agony? Do you have to walk down a red carpet? Yes, you always have Thanks. to do a bloody red carpet wherever you bloody go. It's a charity ball. Well, we know that you fell up, you fell. You oh, that's a help. That's <laughs> a help. I'd forgotten about that. How can you forget about that? No one's forgotten about that. We'll put it here. We'll no, back. don't. Yeah, you've forgotten. Put it anymore. You've forgotten. <laughs> That was fun, wasn't it? What were you wearing that night? Not any. Not Why anything. do you wear your Giovanni Ro Giovannito Rossi or whatever they're called? The really expensive ones that Oh, they're even worse. Oh, they're worse because they're they're so thin. They've got they're like they're a do needle. Women, why do women? I mean, why do women wear them? High heels. Men aren't asking. Because you, you should. look fatter when you're on flat heels. Makes you look taller and thinner. Simple. That's why, isn't it? With all due respect, babe, I mean, most women in high heels, if they think that the flat shoes make them look fat, it's only going to be a modicum of difference. But, gonna... I mean, th there's not even that option because they're both too long. I mean, everyone's overweight, so... No, but they're too long. Oh. The clothes are too long. That's why I have to wear the heels, to lift me off the floor. Well, then, then you have to wear the heels. What, what do I go for? Breaking flat. my ankle or agony? <sighs> Breaking my ankle... Or agony. How can they? How do you know that they're not both the same? They could be agony. Because I've tried them on. They're not agony. It's a stupid well, question. Well then, how is that helping me? Well, then you have to wear the ones that aren't agony. Because when you're sat, they won't be hurting you. They're both at risk. You're at risk at all times on your feet. Or could you put these on for a bit and stretch them? No. But, Mark, if you just wore these for ten minutes... Maybe I couldn't get my foot Mark, in Mark, please, them. just try, because what I need is a stretcher. You could stretch these in ten minutes. Please. Go on, it would be so good. I can't my hands. I can't do it with my you feet. You can't stretch it with your hands. Just put your foot in it. It's ridiculous. I, I can't even put my toe in. Just try, babe. Right, really? just stand like that and I'll make you a cup of tea. Probably I just am, that long. No, look, it's actually... But look at my toe. On Mark, the outside. just for that long. Oh, that toe do it. on the outside. This is ridiculous. How come Just stand in? there while I make a cup of oh, tea. I've got my gouty toe. <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> that, that, so that's why that, we look like this all yes, the time. Yes, that's what happens to us. Yeah. Oh, that that'll be doing. Oh my god, Mark, I love you so much. Hang on. Now that. Now I understand.
understand. That is love. That, that is love. That is love. Mark, don't say that. Are you ready? That love is wearing in your wife's heels. Too painful for us. I understand what people call walk like this with their arms. Yeah, because it's we're in pain and they're too high. You all look like you're in pain. When you don't realise they all look like they're in pain. Do they? So what's the point? So what's the point? The dresses are too long. This is too bloody long. Well, it's a good idea. Make the dresses shorter. It's madness. You all look loads of women. It's a major thing about this. When you see these women do this, that's why they, when they see other women, they go, if they don't talk. You go, don't you? You always go and do this. Uh, it's true because we fall towards yeah, we each fall. other. <laughs> oh, darling. <laughs> I can't do it anymore, though. I can eat. I am literally going to be in the pits <coughs> all night watching women do that. That is going to make me laugh so much. See if you can film women at the do walking around like that. Especially oh when they're drunk, they get even worse. God, it's so... That's exactly what yeah. we do. We go, I often wondered why whenever I was at do's, I'd suddenly be hit by women yeah. from landing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, that's so yeah. funny. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. You've already made a difference with these shoes. Have I? Wait, imagine I've got my makeup on and my earrings. This is outfit one. It's not very really see through, is it? No, but I, I, don't, I won't wear it see through like this. I've got a. Why not? Well, hmm. Mark! Let's have a look. Are you going to be. Mark! <laughs> when you go out, do you actually part that? Mark! Down more? Will you stop it? Do you though? You're being disgusting. Stop it. Mark! <laughs> Um, okay, so this is outfit one. So those shoes really helped. It's unbelievable. There's still agony. I'll have to put a plaster on before. I think if I put a compede on, and obviously I have to do my nails. Very nice shoes, yeah, aren't they? Very confident in this. Do I? Yeah. Okay. You're definitely so... going to wear something underneath. Yes. I mean, everyone can see what religion look, you are. It doesn't look as nice with something underneath, but I will. Did is you it... wear that with nothing underneath? No. That's outfit one. Okay. The flatter shoes do work with outfit two. Precisely. Oh, I see. Yeah, both, you both look, you look magical in both. Do I? Yeah, you it's look very magical. magical. Yeah. Okay, let me show you the high wheels. Oh, bullseye. Mark, don't show them. Come away. The ultimate magical trick is, now you see it, now you don't. Mark. Now you see it, now you don't. Mark, stop it, I mean it. I have to confess, I've only just gotten up and I feel like, as a bloke, I've been thrown into the lion's den straight away. Oh, I'm confused. I'm uh, half as confused as me. It's like either shall I wear razor blades or shall I wear razor blades? Shall I wear shiny razor blades or shall I wear black, dark, frighteningly sharp razor blades? Right, okay, now, now we've got a problem. All of this, all so of this. these are the ones. You look, you've got a great figure. These are the ones that I can risk breaking my ankle. Right. But I look taller, mm. longer legged, and slimmer. Yeah, you do. And they're not pinching on my toes. Right. So, what do you prefer? The dress with the low shoes that pinch a bit, that will look different with the petticoat under. You've only seen it without petticoat, that's why your brain is a bit gone, so you're thinking it's something it's not. Or do I wear the jumpsuit with the higher shoes? My brain's gone because I think you you look like a dolly bird. Which which one's least likely to make a magician woo you? Nobody's gonna woo me. You woo me. I love you. Silly poo. Mm. Stop taking advantage. I'm not. You were. I was not. It's just itchy nose. <laughs> mm. <laughs>
kind of view. Mm. <laughs> You've not given me a straight answer. I know what I'm going to have to do. No. I'm going to take all of it with me. I know me, what you could do. And then I'm going to ask the loose women when I get there. Right. That's what I'm going to do. Your hands off my mouth. You're doing it now. I can't do it. Reach out for safety. <laughs> can you just spray the white right shoe a bit more? What? Just that one. I don't want to do it Is again. Is that the one with your bad toe? Can you just squeeze that one? Because honestly, you've helped me so much. Who could have... You have been my knight in shining armour. My knight in shining armour. Imagine if in Cinderella, Cinderella he wore the shoes. Yeah. It's the modern day Cinderella. It's a contemporary Cinderella. You have... Made my shoe fit. That's amazing. Ugly sister. No, oh, there you go. There you go. Mark. What? I'm not. You were sniffing. What am I doing with them now? <laughs> Making them bigger. <laughs> Even bigger. So it looks. Huh? Which one do you need? The right one. Oh, you are so sweet. <sighs> Could I love him any more? Could I love him any more? You've got to walk around though. Well, I can't do one. <laughs> Poor Buck has only just got up. Photographer, what would happen? How see through is it? Well, not very. What have you got on? Black. That's nice because I'd come up to you there and I'd just go. Mark, stop it. You are bringing in weirdos and people have said it. People are noticing now. Right, is that too long with that shoe? It's not as good with the low shoe, is it? Do you see what I mean now? Do you see why girls do it? Look, there's that. Look, look at me from this side. Yeah. With one, with a long shoe. <laughs> yes. You're not going to walk like that, are no, you? No, but now look at me with a flat shoe. Right. Flat shoe? No, what? have a look, Mark. Have a what? look. You're not looking properly. Yeah, but what, look, are, you, have a look. what are you wanting people to have look, a look for? Have a look. What are people looking for? I want to look long and lean and glamorous. Right. Right, that's that leg. Yeah. Right. That's not really any difference other than your toes poking out or but look, that's too long, isn't it? I'm going to trip on it that. It is, you'll trip on that, yeah. Oh, God, I'm going to trip on this. Look, that falls. Just just have a look. Do I... Is it too long? Where does it fall? Yeah, well, it, you might just get away from it with it, but you're dicing with death. Am I? I think so. I don't want to dice with death. Oh I'd have you. Yeah? Is that what you're after, so whether people would have you? Mark! In a minute, do not put that in. I mean it. I don't understand what we're going don't. for. Because I'm looking at you in a don't. particular way. Don't. Don't need your help. Hop along. <laughs> That'll be you at the end of the night. I am not joking. Some people have said they'd like to hear more about the details of Joe Wick's plan, but I am not joking when I say every time I do it. And as he himself says, the point of them is not for them to get easier, but for you to constantly push as hard as you can each time. Which means that it feels like sometimes it does feel like you're never getting stronger. But I can tell you now, when I go in for just the warm up beforehand, there's an inherent strength in the body that I'm not even thinking about when I do so. Yeah, maybe. Would you like us to do a time lapse, guys? Nads is about to go. Nice. Eggy breath. Lovely. You're looking forward to it. It'd be nice hanging out with Jane and Andrea. And it's charitable. Yeah. I like to give it support. It's a small charity. Yeah. Fascinating to know how Denise copes with a gig like that and not having a drink. Oh, she is. Don't even know how you. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. Lots of people thought I knew Denise Welsh before, but I haven't. Ah. I didn't work with her in the old days. Oh, I thought you used to go out with her. No, no. Well, occasionally we'd bump in. No, I meant romantically. Oh, so I need to get the... She's pretending to be on her phone. She's pretending...
pretending that she's doing stuff that's necessary. 10.42. And actually she was what time on social media. What time do you need to take me to get there at 10.42? Soon. Guess what I'm going to see today? Yeah. Marriage Story, the film with Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson, which they're saying is the better than Kramer versus Kramer. But, Sarge, he's promised he's going to take the dogs for a walk. Yeah. So I want video evidence of it. Okay. Because we know that you're prone to lying about whether you've taken the dogs for a walk. I haven't lied since then. I want shots okay. of the dogs walking. Okay. Right, subs, I need you to tell Mark off. Right, he's just done his exercise, he's dripping with sweat, and now he's come out in the cold without a hat, without a coat, with anything. And that's exactly what they say you shouldn't do if you've got a chest infection, and you get sweaty, and then you get mm. cold, you can get a heart virus. Heart virus? Yes! Bloody hell. Look how slim you look, though. I'm just running dry. I know, but I worry, darling. I don't want to West Norwood. I don't want you to get a heart virus. Tell him. 